morning, YouTube friends and family. Kind of a dismal day today. Where am I going today? I'm going out of the house. That's all I know. Um, Andrea makes it very clear that um, unless I tell her that I'm working from home, it is just a bother. So I should just be gone. <laughs> I don't think those were her exact words, but that was the interpretation that I took. So I, um, I'm gonna head out to that slaughterhouse um, project. There's a couple things I wanna double check on and then I'll probably, I, don't know, I might station myself up at my mother's today and uh, do some office work up there. Anyway, thanks for coming with me on my day. It's gonna clear up, I can feel it. It's gonna be a great day. I know the lighting is horrible in here, but what I'm doing right now is trying to find out how parallel this exterior wall is with that exterior wall over there. Uh, what I found out so far is that from that end to this end, the walls are about two and a half inches wider down this end than they are down that end at the top, so that's that's an issue, and that's something that we need to know before we get into this, uh, because that'll sort of determine, you know, how much of the roof we should tear off. So anyway, um, just trying to measure from this top plate, the exterior, over to the other side. That's what I've been doing. So that's why I've been shuffling the ladder back and forth. Uh, I just pulled up that floorboard because I wanted to see what the condition of the sleepers, which is what we call the framing that sits on top of the concrete slab. I want to see what the condition of the sleepers were out at the perimeter where it's most likely to be rotted. And it looks really solid. So I think the floor sleepers, hopefully, you know, hopefully the floor is pretty level. It appears that, you know, there was some inconsistencies or some sloping in the slab when the floor was built over it that they had to accommodate. Um, so I'm hoping that they got a level floor. 
so we don't have to do a whole lot of improvement on that. <laughs> uh, I got a couple more things to look at here and then I can bust out That's a surprise to open up a door into what you thought used to be. There was a room here, and <laughs> now it's gone. They've done the demo. This is awesome. Hmm. I'm just going to head up and inspect the chimney real quick. See, see what that looks like. You know, it is going to need to be extended to go at least eight feet above where it is right now, or where the roof is right now. Uh, so I just gotta talk to a mason to see what it would cost to get this extended up another four feet or so, and if that's even possible. decided to uh, stick around for a little while because I was supposed to come back out after lunch and meet with a prospective electrician out here. Uh, so I decided, you know what, I'll just stick around, do a lot of my figuring and materials calculations on site, which kind of makes more sense anyway, because I can see exactly what it is I need to build. Um, right now I'm just trying to figure out how much of this siding is actually going to even remain after after that window is replaced, an addition comes off, you know, well, almost makes sense just to strip a lot of this. But anyway, we'll see. I'm going to talk, hopefully talk to the homeowner tonight too and come back out here. I'm going to spend a lot of time here today. I am, I, I'm, I, I, I didn't bring lunch and I'm starving. Actually, this is not going to work. So I'm going to just make a quick little trip to the Sheepskit General, which is right around the corner, and get a tasty sandwich from them because they make really good sandwiches. Um, and then I'll get a call from the electrician probably just as I'm pulling out of here, but that's okay. sitting I'm not even gonna it's not gonna make it all the way back to the job site I'm gonna crack into that puppy as soon as I get my seatbelt on ready for it No, I can't evict a poor little mouse. I suppose we'll just let it live here until the point where it shouldn't be living here anymore. Probably won't survive. It doesn't look that attentive. 
All right, I uh, have eaten my lunch. I'm waiting for the electrician. He's gonna be here shortly. I'm gonna start updating my spreadsheet with the work that I did this morning. I'm moving forward on this project. I want it to start now. I'm here, I wanna just like start to tear and shred and cut and attaching, fastening, and otherwise building. Don't you? This is great. I met with the electrician, a prospective electrician. Things went well. He seemed very excited about the project and um, his schedule is gonna work, so that's fallen into place. I've done a lot of work here today. This impromptu office was a great idea that just happened. And um, I've got nearly all my materials figured out. And I have just a couple like blank spaces to fill in dollar figures to make a total number here now. So I'm really thrilled to get all that work done and make a bunch of appointments and blah, 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 blah. One must have missed one yesterday and either something stepped on them or something you know I bet that something pecked into them like a crow or a blue jay or something lost a couple eggs I wish those ducks would just lay in their boxes that I built for them to lay in <laughs> they're domesticated they may as well be fully domesticated how do you train a duck to maybe there's a way to train them to lay in their boxes. I guess I gotta do some research. Maybe the best Italian win. I'm leading with that. Okay. Yorkshire pudding. I just make Milo with that. 